TFNN Headline News Update. Here's Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials down 63. You got the NASDAQ off 10. S&Ps are down 8. Gold is trading up $11. We are at the 1241 level. Uh, gold is building the cause, folks, to get up and over those highs. Silver, silver's up 19 cents, $14.92. Silver needs a, a huge amount of strength in order just to get into its October highs. So when you take a look at the, uh, both metals, gold is much stronger than silver. Platinum is down 2 bucks, trading at uh, 9.35. We have copper up two pennies at 216. Now, copper's catching a bid. Uh, specifically, it looks to me like uh, many of these commodities are off the bottom and they want higher price. Oil, oil's down 27 cents, trading at $34.12 a barrel. I suspect what you're going to see here, you're going to get some sideways movement. Oil also wants higher price. Bonds, notes, those are the story out here, folks. They broke yesterday with volume. High volume, broke swing points. This morning, you get the 10-year note down an additional 11 ticks with monster volume, by the way. We're at 129.08. You have the 30-year bond at 162.11. The correlation there between the 10-year and the 30, break into lower prices, break in swing points with volume. What does it do? It brings your probability much higher that this S&P right now, I expect we're going to build some calls. We're going to go sideways. We're going to digest the move yesterday. This S&P wants higher price. Right now, you get the... Uh, future is traded out at uh, 1971. The cash at 1975. This thing is game up to 2000. That's where this thing looks like it wants to go. We go over and we take a look at the King Dollar. King Dollar is up 140 ticks. We're at 98.50. Now, King Dollar has been going to higher price without demand. Bottom line, the higher you go, the higher you can go, but that thing's going to fall apart because there's no buyers. Bottom line, until it falls apart, it doesn't. Euro. Euro is uh, down 32 at 108. The yen is trading at 113.95. Now, if we go over to the S&P and we take a look and we use the SPY, what you're going to see is this. The SPY took out the February 1st swing point, took it out with volume. The SPY ended up coming in with 141 million versus 136. What does that set up? It looks to me the Benchmark that we've been talking about for quite a while is 199.83. I actually think this thing is going to go up and fill the whole gap, which is a 203.87. So this thing has a lot further to go. The correlation inside the Dow Industrials, if you want to see where the Dow is, uh, Dow right now are at 16,800. That would be saying the Dow can get up to 17,400, which is an additional 600 points, which, yes, quite a bounce. NDX 100, the three Qs. Three Qs also took out its swing point. Had the juice behind the move. We did 37 million shares, taking out 20, 32 million shares. What does that set up? We're at 105.52. That sets up 109.83, all the way up to the 111.84 uh, price point. Gold. What do we have with the gold contract? Gold out here, folks, has been pushing into its highs. And each and every time that it comes up to the, the higher end of the consolidation it's in, the volume explodes to the top side. What we did yesterday is this. He had 226,000 contracts yesterday. We're going to actually do more than that today. We're already at 115,000 contracts. We're up nine bucks. Gold wants to at least test the 1263. We'll see whether it just blows it away. And it very well could blow it away, by the way. The notes, we take a look at the 10-year note. The 10-year note, folks, you're going to get a huge amount of information out of it. You continue to get a huge amount of information out of it. Uh, we've already done 821,000 contracts today. That's saying that the 10 years is going to end up doing 1.5, 1.6. We're trading out at 129.08. 128 is game uh, inside the, this 10 year. And that is a very large move down. We broke down yesterday, and you broke down with monster volume. So, wrap it. What do you have? You have a market. I suspect that a huge amount of energy was taken out of the market yesterday in order to get higher. You're going to Build some cause here, meaning get some more energy for what? For the next move higher. Bonds want lower price. S&P wants higher price. Gold wants higher price. This 10 a.m. update is brought to you each and every day by EverBank. For more information on the products they offer, you can give a call at 855-750-4051 or visit everbank.com forward slash TFNN. Have a great day. Have a safe day. Look forward to speaking right back here, 10 o'clock tomorrow morning.
Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. Everbank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. Everbank is a member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender.